Hey and welcome to the Covert Pin Press Theme Demo. You're about to discover how the world's most expensive domain name increased their traffic by 1173% overnight. And how you can do the same by using this simple WordPress theme to tap into the most buzzing trend on the internet and sucking traffic from Pinterest and Facebook on autopilot. Pinterest is extremely hot right now. It's the fastest growing social network and internet marketers are scrambling to cash in. I had previously dismissed Pinterest as just being housewives sharing salad recipes. That was a big mistake, but it took a special kind of wake up call for me to realize that. And here's the wake up call I'm talking about. Back in early May, I noticed a site jumping wildly up the uh, Alexa traffic rankings and that naturally piqued my interest and I wanted to have a look at which site it was and what they were doing. And it turns out it was sex.com, which is actually the world's, world's most expensive domain name. It has been traded in eight figure deals uh, multiple times. I think the most expensive ever sold for was 16, 16 million dollars. Now, despite being the most expensive domain name in the world, this site actually has a history of underperforming and being run by what I like to call Muppets who don't, don't know what kind of gold mine they're sitting on. So when an underperforming site like that jumps up in traffic overnight, like you see in this screenshot, naturally I wanted to figure out what they did. And it turns out all they did was turn to a Pinterest format. And looking at this picture, can you guess which state they did then? Yep, they did it just before May the 1st this year. Now, why did this work so well for them? It worked well because Pinterest have already conditioned millions of people to react in a certain way when they see content presented in a certain way. And humans are visual creatures, and an image-based site has a better chance of grabbing your attention than a site that just pretend, uh, presents a ball of text when you, uh, when you enter it. And what happened for sex.com was that people started sharing, liking, and commenting on their content in their post because they were already trained to do that. They were already trained that when they saw content presented in this way on Pinterest, they should click the like button, they should click the repin button, and they should comment on it. And they carried that on to the other site. So even though they had fantastic results doing this, we actually don't recommend they try to replicate this because it worked for sex.com because of their niche. They have obviously content that is on an audio site and stuff that are not allowed on Pinterest. So they were filling a social networking void <coughs> in their particular niche. You don't want to go in and compete with Pinterest unless you have very deep pockets or are friends with a bunch of venture capitalists. But as we say, if you can't beat them, you join them. And we can replicate the results that these guys got and without a huge cost and we figured that the best approach would be to combine the features of Pinterest with the powers of WordPress bringing you the best of both worlds good SEO as is inherent in WordPress low cost easy to use and the explosive results from going social and that's why we can now introduce the covert Pinterest theme <clears throat> it's a WordPress theme that makes your blog look exactly like Pinterest and not only look exactly like Pinterest it makes it look feel and work exactly like Pinterest and therefore it taps into the Pinterest psychology and makes your visitors much more likely to read like share and comment on your content and then we've added some sneaky covert tra traffic generation inbuilt into the theme that will get you a ton of free traffic from Pinterest and Facebook so right now let me show you how in just minutes from right now, you can be running a Pinterest blog that sucks in social traffic like nothing you've ever seen before. <clears throat> and I'm going to take you live into one of my blogs that is using this theme and show you exactly how it works, how it looks, and what it can do. So here we are inside the WordPress admin area of one of my sites. It's called ontheweirdside.com. This is a test site I set up for this theme. And the purpose of this site is to uh, publish uh, funny pictures, jokes, uh, incident memes, and that sort of stuff. Um, simply because I had a lot of that lying around on my hard disk. I'm a bit of a collector of, of that sort of stuff. <clears throat> anyway, 
if we hit in, head in here and look at the site, the first thing you will notice is that it looks exactly like Pinterest. You have the grid style posts here uh, that are uh, focusing on the image. They have different sizes and it, it puts them in according to the size here. And it has the Pinterest feature of if you scroll down, it will automatically load the next row of post and so on. It will keep going uh, until you don't have any more posts. And this is one of the features that makes it much more likely that people are going to open one of your posts because they hit this page and they've already been conditioned on Pinterest that they can scroll down and keep loading, keep loading until they find something they're interested in. The other thing you'll notice is here that like on Pinterest, we have this yellow, what is called a nag bar. Uh, <clears throat> this is actually a, a widget area in the theme and you can put anything you want in this area and you can also turn it on and off as you like. Up here we have uh, our post categories as our navigation menu and you have full control over that as well. And we have the search box and everything up there. So this is designed to look exactly like Pinterest. And if we open up a post, I'll just open up in a new tab here. You'll notice that again, it is made to look exactly like Pinterest. You have the post title that it was pinned on this date. And you have the image and the post that you write below there and then a comment area. You'll also notice <coughs> that I'm using two sidebars here in which I uh, placed Amazon ads for uh, various uh, books and products that are related to the content on the blog, uh, like jokes and, and stuff like that. Um, you can choose to use no sidebars at all, just use one, either left or right, or use two sidebars here. And similarly on the front page, you can choose to use a sidebar as well. Uh, Pinterest doesn't do it, so by default we don't do it, but you can choose to show a sidebar left or right as well on the front page to place your ads or whatever else you want in there. Another thing you'll notice in here is that there is a from link here, exactly like on Pinterest. And this is actually a link that a lot of people click on Pinterest. If they like a post, they will click where it's from to see more of the same. Now, this is a link that you can specify for every single post to go to exactly where you want. And you can make, make the anchor text up here say exactly what you want. So this is a perfect place to put in an affiliate link, uh, which is what I've actually done here. And this is actually an affiliate link for this particular product over here. And this gets a lot of clicks and conversions. And as I said, you can set this for every single post, different one. So <clears throat> that, that is the basic uh, look and feel of, uh, of the theme. But right now I want to take you into the theme options because there is a lot you can customize to your own needs in here. So this is the covert Pinterest theme options. And uh, I'll just quickly run through this because there is actually a lot in here, but it's very easy to use. First, you can set a logo and that is used up here. This is uh, my blog's title and tagline as set up in my general settings. I can choose to just use that or I can upload a graphical logo to overwrite that or just link to one that's hosted elsewhere. I can upload a favicon or link to one that's hosted elsewhere. I can change the background color of my blog. By default, it's set to use a background that looks exactly like Pinterest, but you can change the background color to any color you like, either by manually ending, entering the code or by using the color picker there. The navigation menus. It uses here the my post categories, and if I had, pay, I didn't set up any pages in the blog, but if I did, they would be up here. So that works exactly like it does in Pinterest too. But if you have many categories or some you don't want to show, if you have many pages or some you don't want to show, you can select which categories or pages to exclude from your navigation menus. <clears throat> Next here, we have custom fields for images. Uh, this is not anything you have to worry about. I just want to mention that this is in here. If you're using an auto-blogging plugin that uses custom fields to insert images in a template, this theme supports that, so you can use it for that. Then we have default images you can upload. This is if you mainly used if you're converting an old blog and some posts don't have images in it, then uh, <clears throat> you can upload default images here and it'll randomly go through it. 
Now we get down to the really meaty stuff here. This is the home page setting, so the settings for the home page here. Here I can hide the yellow nag bar, which I'll do right now. I can turn the sidebar on and off, set the left to right. This is what post content, what I want to show here as the text below the images on the front page. Right now it says I have it set to show the post title. I can have it show the full post text. I can have it show an ex post excerpt, the one I manually put in uh, WordPress. And if I don't have one, it will automatically stick to 55, 55 first words. Or I can do a custom post ex excerpt and show the first however many characters of the post content. I can show a common count below, uh, like they do in Pinterest which I recommend turning on if you have a lot of comments because that will draw in even more comments. I can show the comments on the front page uh, like they do on Pinterest, I can turn them off on the front page. And the social buttons, which is exactly like on Pinterest, when you hover over an image, a repin, a like and a comment button turns up and they look <coughs> and work like they do on Pinterest. But you can turn those off, off and you can decide if the Pinterest one opens in a new window or not. You have the same settings for your individual posts and pages, but you want to hide that yellow bar. If you want to show a sidebar, which is left and right, turn them off. Um, but you want to hide the title of the post, hide some details, hide the comments, all that good stuff, and including whether you want to hide those. Um, uh, repin and um, <clears throat> and like buttons. So those are some of all the uh, theme options that you can use to customize this. And there is an extensive help file in here as well that will tell you what everything does. I uh, just want to quickly show you the widgets, uh, which is the this is the top nag bar, which is that yellow area. It's a widget area, so you can put anything you want in here as long as it conforms to the size of it. And you have your main sidebar, which is, again, you can put anything you want in there. And then you have the extra single post page sidebar, which, again, you can put anything you want in there. And this is here so you can have a double sidebar on your posts if you wanted to. <clears throat> now, I want to show you the really, really powerful part of this theme, and that is the automatic traffic generation. And that relates to these buttons up here. Now first of all, the comment button here, if I press that, it will just open up the post so people can go comment on it. And that works exactly like it does in Pinterest as well. <clears throat> now to me the really exciting thing is the repin and the like button. And this is where we have the inbuilt social media traffic generation. If I click the repin button, and I, I have this set to open in a new window now, but I could uh, I could open it in the same window. But as you see, it actually opens up Pinterest and asks me to post in a board. I don't actually want to post that one. I want to post this one. So if we do this, it opens up Pinterest. I want to create a new board. board. That says funny ads because that's what this is. I create that. And then I pin this post. If I could click the button. <clears throat> and now I have actually pinned that post on Pinterest. So which means I have a link back to my site from Pinterest and I will get traffic from Pinterest. And that's what's going to happen. People are going to hit your site, and because it looks exactly like Pinterest and works exactly like Pinterest. If they see something they like, they'll click the repin button. It takes them to Pinterest. They're familiar with the process. They will repin it. You gain a link back and you get traffic from Pinterest. Now, the second button here is potentially even more powerful because this ties into Facebook. And if I click the like button here, you didn't see anything happen, but something did happen. And uh, I'll take you into my Facebook account to show you because what just happened was that I liked that post on Facebook and it was posted to my Facebook wall for all my friends to see with a, a link back to the site. And here you go, 15 seconds ago, 
the image here link to the site and the story and, and that again will get traffic to my site and uh, if we go into a single post you'll get notice that the buttons are in here again so uh, this is the same placement as they are on Pinterest so people can click the repin button, pins it on Pinterest, you get a link back, you get traffic or you click the like button here and it shows up on Facebook and just to prove to you that I didn't didn't fake that I'm going to go back to the front page and like this one on Facebook so if I go in here and I refresh we should see the new one show up here and it did five seconds ago that post is now liked on Facebook and <clears throat> Obviously, it is really, really cool that this looks exactly like uh, Pinterest, and that is one of the reasons it works really, really well. And it's one of the reasons that these buttons work so well because people come in here, it looks like Pinterest, and they use them. And especially the like button here will get a lot of clicks, which means a lot of links and a lot of tra uh, traffic from Facebook because on Pinterest, the like button is the lazy man's. Uh, way of doing this because it doesn't require any effort. You're just non uh clicking, I like this image, I like this post. Whereas a repin uh, means that you actually have to go repin it. But you will get people doing both of these. And because it also encourages them to comment here, you'll get people commenting on your post, posts, and that will create more content and more Google juice on your blog. So <clears throat> these buttons and the way they tie in. Uh, to build automatic social traffic for you is, in my opinion, uh, the absolute best thing about this theme, apart from the fact that it just looks very cool. Um, so that's the uh, Covert Pinterest theme. Super easy to install, normal uh, WordPress theme, one click install. Uh, you got all the options to uh, set all the different settings you want in here. Uh, you get the widgets to uh, use the sidebars. Uh, and uh, and the neck bar up there, and you can even do custom menus to uh, include in the widget too. So there you have it. That's the covert print press theme and the extreme power of using uh, the inbuilt traffic generation here to get links and traffic from Pinterest and Facebook. So let's go back to the slides and have a closer look at some of this. <coughs> Because the fact is that the cover print press theme gets more clicks, better conversions, and more free social media traffic than any other WordPress theme we have ever used. And it works for two simple reasons. The theme is simply presenting your content in a way people have already been conditioned by Pinterest to view, read, like, and share. <clears throat> And the sneaky inbuilt traffic generation just takes it to a level that no other theme is capable of doing. Now you might be forgiven for thinking that this would cost a small fortune, and it certainly was not easy to develop, and, and it did cost us a small fortune to do, and a lot of time, trial and error. And there are a few other Pinterest themes out there. The best one will cost you $59 for a single site license only. And it doesn't have half the features of Covert Pinterest, and it's certainly not the uh, powerful inbuilt traffic generation. But the good news is that for a limited time only, you can get your hands on a brand new Covert Pinterest theme at a special low early bird price. Now we do re realize there's a huge demand for this, uh, so we do plan to sell it for 59 or more very soon. But right now you can get it at a fraction of that. And that includes free lifetime updates, which means if you order your copy today, you'll never pay a cent more, you will get free lifetime updates to the theme. And we will even include full multi-site and developer's license at no extra cost. That means you can use the theme on all your blogs, existing and future ones. You can use it on blogs you build for clients, and you can even sell and flip blogs with the theme installed. So all that's left to do right now is to click the button below to secure your copy of the Covert Pinterest theme before the price goes up.